Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to show you how I make some kale and turnip roots. Very, very flavorful. I was looking for some turnip greens to go with the turnip roots, but they didn't look really good. So I just opted out and I got the kale and it worked out. So I had two bunches of kale I washed them really good, stripped them off of that stalk. I'll put them in the pot. Here is my big turnip root. So I'm going to cut this up, then I'm going to peel it and chop it up. And wash it really, really good. Then I'm going to put it in the pot with the kale. I made this video in case you might want to cut back on your meat like when you're seasoning your greens. I found this uh, really good seasoning base you probably heard of before. And I'm gonna use that along with a few other things in these uh, turnip roots and kale. So these are going to cook down after maybe about 10 minutes they'll just start cooking down and then I'll come back and I'll season them so guys I hope you all are having a great day I hope you had a good weekend and I hope everyone is doing well and if you haven't subscribed to the channel I would really appreciate it and hit the like button if you like this video, you can comment as well. All right, so now my turnip greens, I'm sorry, my kale <laughs> and my turnip roots have been cooking. So we're going to add some chopped red pepper. And if you don't have that, you can use the roasted peppers. All right, so now I'm just going to add some olive oil. If you want to add a pat of butter, you can. It's up to you. Whatever you want to add to it. But I found out that the raw kale is a little hard on my stomach. But after I started cooking it, I could digest it better. So I'm going to add a few seasonings to this and... Like I said, whatever else you want to add, but you can still get that good flavor that you were used to eating. Especially if you want to cut back on your meat. All right, so now I'm going to add a little pepper. I'm going to add a little salt, not too much. And then I'm going to add some smoked paprika. This is also good, and it gives the greens and beans a good flavor. And you can add uh, your garlic powder, your onion powder, whatever else you want to add. And now I'm going to add a little bit of apple cider vinegar. I'm basically cooking this kale like I do my uh, collard greens and turnip greens. All right, so next I'm going to use the main ingredient and this is the better than bouillon made with seasoned ham. You will get that good flavor that you got if you use like a smoked meat. You will still get a good flavor, but you can add as much as you like. I'm just adding like one half of a teaspoon, but this is seasoned to taste. I knew they had the chicken and the beef flavor, but I didn't know that they had this ham flavor, which really hiked up this turnips and kale that I have right here. It made a difference in the flavor. So I'm just going to stir it up really good and mix it up. And I'm going to let it cook down a little bit longer. Now yours, you can let it cook as long as you like or as less as you like. 
is totally up to you. So I'm going to taste it. And it tastes really good. I'm just going to let it simmer just a little while longer. So guys, these vegetables were really, really good. I hope you get to try them. And I hope to see you in the next video and be blessed. Thank you.